we would like to thank our sponsor, Active AI, which is an enterprise SAAS platform for smart networking and smarter credit. As we all heard Sadhguru just say that he would be traveling to 22 countries over the next few months. Uh, he couldn't join us with us physically here, uh, but he is joining us live. And with no further ado, I invite Sadhguru to join us and share his pearls of wisdom. Namaskaram to everyone who has assembled around this Burj Khalifa, this iconic building, in many ways is the fulcrum of attraction in Dubai and has been the fulcrum of development in Dubai in many ways. So it's great to see all of you having assembled at Burj Khalifa and uh, my gratitude to UAE government, particularly the Honorable Minister of Environment, Ma Madam Mariam and also my dear brother, Sheikh Nayan, who is the Tolerance Minister. Thank you very much for all of you, because without your support, this level of uh, uh, intensity wouldn't have built up. I must tell you that this has been a momentous movement across the world. The movement, the love for soil has been instilled in people's hearts, and everywhere in the world, this has spread like a wave more than anything. I want all of you, to know that it's your love and support which made this movement what it is, a movement like no other. We have managed to touch... By 23rd of June, we have managed to touch 3.91 billion people. That is nearly half the world. This is fantastic. Today, literally across the world, People are talking about soil, governments are discussing about soil regeneration programs, budgets are being allocated, things are happening. But is it enough? No. Because right now, I'm very sure the soil policies, soil regeneration policies will come through in almost all countries on the planet. But the challenge is the pace or the speed at which the implementation will happen. So I beseech all of you, that every one of you should understand the mission is not over. The mission of changing the narrative is done, but to ensure that it's implemented, to ensure that in this generation we turn the soil back to its richness, turn the soil back to the possibility of life that it is, because the largest living system on this planet and also in the known universe is the topsoil on this planet. If this needs to be tended to, the most important thing is that soil policies should change and they must be incentive-driven. If they're not incentive-driven, the farmers are not capable of turning, turning this around because the farm economy around the world is in such a fragile state that if you as much as try to make any changes, it will just collapse. So it has to be incentive-based. There needs to be a government incentive, the second level is we are right now seriously focusing on is to simplify the carbon credit market so that the farmer can benefit because soil is the largest carbon sink on the planet. If we don't make use of it, then we have failed in our missions to halt the global warming process to continue. And the next is that there must be a market recognition. Right now, it's just organic, you don't know what is in it. So we want to create a new branding that, as right now most of the lands are below one percent in the world, we must create this, that the branding, if it reaches three percent, let's say, which is what the incentive is about, to get it to three percent. If it gets to three percent, it gets this kind of price. If it's four percent, it gets the next level of price. If it's six percent, it gets the next level of price. Like this, we must specify the organic content so that the farmer benefits. With this policy in place, we can turn this around, even with very minimal investment in six to eight years, we can make a difference. If the necessary investment is there, if the large enough investments are there, within twelve to twenty-four months. I want you to make <laughs> ten minutes of your day for the next twelve months, just ten minutes a day. Your worship should be about enhancing the soil message. 
Why this is important is, I want you to understand this in context, that is, we refer to something as God only because we believe that is the source of life. Right now, the immediate source of life for us here is soil. So I'm saying ten minutes of worship for soil. Don't close your eyes and say prayers, open your eyes, use your social media capabilities, research yourself and spread the message of soil, how important it is. Keep this wave up. In the next twelve months, I'm quite confident most nations will form policies in this direction. Thank you very much. Wonderful to be with you. Let's make it happen. Save soil. Let's make it happen. Soil is not our property, it is a legacy that's come to us from previous generations. We have to pass it on as a living soil for future generations. This is why the Save Soil movement... This very body is soil. My body, your body, everybody is just soil body. गुरु जी ने यात्रा की अपने आप में बहुत बड़ा काम किया है और मुझे पक्का विश्वास है कि दुनिया को मिट्टी के प्रति स्नेह तो पैदा हुआ ही होगा लेकिन भारत की मिट्टी की ताकत का भी परिचय मिला होगा because how we act today will determine how they live tomorrow. Save soil, let's make it happen. For my part, uh, as much as I can contribute. For greener and healthier future and for generations to come, let's save the soil. And the movement that you are taken up, I could not expect any more God's blessing than that. You're going to save the soil, do your part. <laughs> save soil, my friend. Let's make this happen. Let's make it happen. Let's, Let's make, make it happen. happen. The magic of soil is it turns death into life. Depleted soils will not quench the fire of hunger. Unquenched hunger can burn the very world. This is a generational responsibility. Save soil. Let's make it happen.